my first under 19 world champs in Vancouver. I think that was the day where I almost quit triathlon. You know, I came out six minutes behind on the swim. And after that, I thought, do I want to really continue? Is this what I should be doing? That was like a turning point for me. I kind of looked and said, you know, if I don't take this seriously enough, I may as well do something else. When I started triathlon, I did pick up a couple of niggling injuries. So I had like IT bands from running, which I had a problem with my knees and my hip at the start. And I also had rotator cuff problems from swimming. And that literally came from not being conditioned enough to do the mileage that I was doing. You need to find that limit where you're building yourself up and you're not breaking your body down. So I was picking up problems because I wasn't conditioning myself right for it. I literally after that started studying coaching and I found out, oh, these are the parts that are missing to my puzzle. Yeah, I think that was a learning curve and it's definitely something that I had to learn from. Family and friends, we get to see them two months a year. And so, I mean, that's pretty tough to keep relationships going, but uh, you know, it's a sacrifice. Triathlon is full focus and you've got to give it everything. Negativity is probably the one that gets me down, so negative people and bad results. I think if you're not down from a bad result, then you're probably not taking it serious enough. I like to have a good time and not uh, focus on the negative. You know, it's part of what happens. I think it's the journey, if you, if you only have the ups and you have no downs, it's not a real journey. The bad moments make the great moments that much better. To the younger version of myself, I would probably say take more risks and be more bold, just to be self-confident, to keep moving forwards and, and keep going.